Commercial real estate videos are brought to you by Bull Realty. When your business requires proven performance, contact Bull Realty. And by Arnold Golden Gregory, France Media Inc., Resnick Group, and Andy's Army. Welcome back. I'm Michael Bull, and this is America's Commercial Real Estate Show. Would you like to attract visitors to your website with the Commercial Real Estate Show? Well, you can now download a free widget, which allows your site visitors to access show videos and audio podcasts right on your website. Just visit CommercialRealEstateShow.com and look for the widget on the homepage. You can see how it works. If you like it, you can download it there. Well, today we're exploring corporate office tenant strategies. Please welcome my next guest, Rich Rhodes, Managing Principal, Cresda Bethesda. Cressa, known as the Tenants Advantage, is the international corporate real estate advisory firm that exclusively represents tenants. As a managing principal for Cressa in Washington, D.C., Rich is committed to providing the best knowledge, experience, and services for his clients. Rich, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Michael. Happy to be here. Well, thank you. And I'd like to talk to you about some of the latest strategies and trends for office tenants. Uh, what are you seeing out there related to their use of office space? Uh, well, the, the major change is always the workforce demographics. You know, who are these people hiring? Who are they trying to recruit? Who are they trying to retain? And in the Washington region um, in particular, uh, you know, there's a, a strong movement toward youth and, um, and the impact that that might have on office space. So what happens when you go to a young workforce, you have to emulate how they have been brought up through the ranks, particularly graduating college, graduate school, where they're very mobile. So the latest strategies and considerations is where is my workforce located and how are they working? So, you know, you see a lot of uh, advances in furniture technology to try and complement, um, you know, the mover and the shaker in, in business, uh, benching as opposed to modular stations where someone can come in, set up a laptop, uh, be Wi-Fi'd and, and roll with it or get up and go. So it lends to tremendous deficiency in the workspace, which is a very sensitive issue now uh, in a somewhat downward economy where people are trying to save money and real estate is always, you know, that number two cost behind salaries. Right. It's an important part of the uh, the business usually. Well, what are some of the uh, lease terms and clauses that you're seeing out there that are most important to tenants in the market? Well, one and two is always economics and flexibility. So obviously tenants want the best deal they can get, and that goes without saying. But hidden economics are, are the dangers, and that usually falls in the operating expense real estate tax category. I always will sit with a tenant, I'll say, you know, you look at a lease and you'll see uh, the rent is one line or a number. Uh, you get to the operating expense section and it's 10 pages long. Now, why is that? <laughs> so you have to be very careful as to how those operating expenses are structured because they can sneak up and bite you over the years. And one of the things we offer is, is a lease audit, desktop audit service at Cressa. But, um, so that's one point, economics. The second point is flexibility. And in a softer market, like the market we're in now, when again, the economy is suffering somewhat and the tenants sort of have the upper hand, Negotiating options to renew, options to terminate, options to expand, options to contract, uh, flexible sublease rights. These are key elements for companies today. Either they're growing or they're sensitive to the economy um, or they just need the flexibility not knowing what the future holds. Okay. So, Rich, what are some of the mistakes that an office tenant uh, should avoid in a lease, whether they're relocating, renewal? Uh, yeah, what, what are some of the mistakes that you've seen they should avoid? Well, Michael, I mean, since uh, Cressa is uh, the largest tenant-only advisory firm in the country, the first mistake is uh, using a company that's conflicted. Right. <laughs> they, sh they should always seek out objective, uh, conflict-free advice, which is what we provide. But... Um, Lack of flexibility in leases, as I mentioned, not having the ability to, you know, you can always get your best deal on a longer term lease. So a seven, eight, nine, ten year deal. You can front load heavy concessions, you can amortize, build out costs to keep the rent down. But the problem with leases that long is that you're locked. So you've got to have the ability to maneuver within that term. Again, uh, without repeating myself, the termination options and so forth. So uh, that's a mistake you want to avoid. Uh, 
moving forward without a strategic plan in place, in other words, without aligning your real estate strategy with your business strategy, could be an error. A lot of tenants, they wait till the last minute, six months left on the lease, let's go do a new deal without really thinking it through. The leases can be an integral part and an asset to your business. It should not be a handcuff to your business, and we see that all too often. And then lastly, waiting too long. So not just from a strategy perspective, but from a leverage perspective. I like to start, you know, most of our clients are over, in this market, they're over 10,000 feet. And in that instance, it is not unusual for us to get in there two, three, four, even five years early. I'm working on two transactions now that have five years left where we are renegotiating downward the rent and we're extending the lease for five years, five years in advance because we have that opportunity to do that. Now, had we not been in there at that point, that opportunity never would have presented itself. So you want to keep all your options open. The more time you have, the more leverage you have, especially in a soft market. Rich, thanks for your insight. Uh, We said we wouldn't keep you long. And for more from Rich, visit Cressa.com or CommercialRealEstateShop.com. I'm Michael Bull, and you're listening to America's Commercial Real Estate Show. We'll be right back. 